detectors are one of the very confusing topics of digital electronics. So we have already done a video on the sequence detector, that is two sequence detectors, one detecting 3-bit pattern and one detecting a 5-bit pattern. So today's class we are going to actually design a sequence detector which is used for detecting two patterns and one single sequence detector will detect two patterns, that is these are the two patterns 0010 and 0001. So these two sequences are being detected by a single sequence detector. So I am going to uh, teach you how to draw this eight diagram of a sequence detector which is used for detecting these two sequences. So my initial state I am going to take it as S0. This is how you have to think while designing a sequence detector. So this is a S0 which is my initial state. So what I am going to do is I am going to mark this as a initial state. initial state okay and you know if you see these two sequences both these sequences are starting with 0 and 0 right so both the sequences starts with 0 so if you need a progress in your sequence detection you should receive a what at the, your initial state that is when you are at your initial state and if you receive a 0 only then you have a progress in your state detection, right? So, at 0 or the initial state, when you detect a 0 means you can move further because there is a progress in both your sequences because both the sequences are starting with 0. So, your input is 0 and your output is 0 because we have not detected any of the sequences uh, till now, right? So, when you are detecting any of the sequences entirely means then only your output will be 1. Till that, your output is 0. So, in initial state, when you are receiving a 0 as an input, means you are having a progress in your sequence detection and you will move to the next state which is your S1 state. Okay. You can uh, use any variable. I am just taking S0, S1 like that. Okay. In 0... Sorry, in S1 state, what is the sequence you have in your S1 state? That is a 0. So, in S1 state, you have a 0 in your hand. Okay. And in S1 state, when you receive a what value? You have a progress in your sequence. Just look at your sequences. Both these sequences has initially 0, 0 and 0, 0. Right. So, you need another 0 to have a progress in your sequence for the both case. So, when you receive a 0 in your S1 state, you can move further. That is when you receive a 0 as input, your output is anyway 0 and you, have, you can move further that is to the second state, sorry, to the third state which is your S2 state. And in S2 state, what you have? 0 and again a 0. So, you have a 0, 0. Okay. So, what is the advantage of writing this zeros or the sequence or of each state? I'll tell you in the end. Okay. So, in S2 state, you have 0, 0. Now, if you see these two sequences, now there is a change in the bits. For the first sequence, let this be your first sequence. This is your second sequence, right? For the first sequence, your third bit is a 1. For the second sequence, your third bit is a 0. So, we have uh, obtained till 0, 0. Same for both the sequences. But when there is a third bit, then there is a conflict between the sequences. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to complete my second sequence first. That is the det detection of the second sequence first. Then I am going to complete my detection of first sequence. Okay. So, I am going to look for my second sequence now. So, I am at which state? S2 state. So, I have a 0, 0. And in S2 state, if I receive a 0 means I can move further to the next state which is S3. So, in this S3, you are receiving a 0 but still your output is 0. And in S3, you are having a sequence of 0, 0 and one more 0. Okay. So, there is a 0, 0, 0. 
So for your second sequence, you need a 0, 0, 0. And then you need what to complete your entire sequence? 1, right? So in state S3, if you are receiving a 1, now you have, now you have obtained your second sequence entirely, right? So your output is 1. Just keep this thing in mind. Whenever your entire sequence is entirely, that is completely received, only then the output is 1. So now you are at the S4 state and your output is 1. And in the S4 state, you have this second sequence entirely. That is 0, 0, 0 and 1. And if you look at your first sequence, the first sequence is having a 0, 0, 1, right? So if you look at your S4, the S4 is also having a 0, 0, 1. See? Here the end portion is a 0, 0, 1 or from here there is a 0, there is another 0 and there is a 1 coming. Okay, so in the S4 state you also have your 0, 0, 1. Okay, now we have completed our second sequence once. Now we need to complete the first sequence detection. The first sequence is having a 0, 0, 1 and then a 0. And in the S4 state you know that you have a 0, 0, 1. Right. So, what is the bit you need next to complete your first sequence? It is a 0 again. That is, you have 0, 0, 1. And if you detect a 0, means you can complete your first sequence, which is your 0, 0, 1, 0. So, from S4 state, to which state you have to jump to obtain a 0? Just look here. So, in this state, you have 1, 0. In this state, you have 2, zeros. In this state, you have 3, zeros. How many zeros you need? 1, 0, right? So, from S4, jump to S1 to complete your first sequence or to get 0, 0, 1 and again a 0. So, in S1 state, you have a 0. So, from S4 to S1, the sequence detector has to jump. So, here, the input is 0. And your output is what? Output is 1. Why the output is 1? Because here the first sequence is detected. So here also the second sequence is detected. So the output is 1. And here the first sequence is detected. And hence the output is 1. Okay. So we have completed all the, the positive cases. That is what we need. What all things we need to uh, detect the two sequences we have completed. Now we have to the uh, fill the, the things which are left out. That is in some states only one conditions are condition has been taken. The next condition also we have to think. Right. So let's do that. So in S0 state we have taken the case when 0 is obtained as an input. Now what will happen if 1 is obtained as an input in our initial state? We know that both the sequences are not starting with 1. So, in the initial state, if 1 is obtained means the sequence detector has to loop in the initial state itself because only if a 0 is received, both the sequences are starting, right? So, in S0 state, if 1 is received, the output is 0 and it will loop in S0 itself. Okay, so both the cases of S0 is now complete. Now, for S1 state, we have taken the case of receiving 0 as input. Now what will happen in S1 state if a 1 is received? That is we know that in S1 state we have a 0 in our hand, right? So we have a 0 in our hand and in S1 state if you are receiving a 1 means just look at your sequences. The first sequence is having 2 zeros and then 1 and the third se the second sequence is having 3 zeros and then 1. So a 0 and a 1, is it relevant? No. If 2 zeros and then a 1 is coming, then only it is relevant. Or if 3 zeros and a 1 is coming, only then it is relevant. So, in the S1 state, if a 1 is received means it is not actually relevant or there is no progress in the sequence. So, we are going back to which state? Our initial state. I hope it is clear. So, in the S1 state, if a 1 is received, the output is 0 and we are going back to the S0 state because there is no progress in our sequence or we can say our sequence is actually broke.
Okay, so we are jumping back to the S0 state. So both the cases of S1 state is also now complete. Now let us take the case of S2. We have taken the case of uh, receiving a 0. Okay, so in S2 state what is the sequence we are having? 0, 0. Right, in uh, S2 state we have 0, 0. And what will happen if we receive a 1? Okay, this 0, 0, 1 is actually part of both the sequences, right? So, in S2, if we are receiving a 1 means, just look at all the states. In any of the state, is this pattern received? Yes. In S4 state, there is a 0, 0, 1 pattern received, right? So, from S2 state, the state machine will jump to which state? To the S4 state. So, in S2, if a 1 is received, it will move to S4 state. But the output is again 0. Okay. So, so this is an advantage of writing this sequences at the bottom of each state. That is, we can easily identify whether there is a progress in the pattern when a 0 or a 1 is received or the pattern is broke. Like that, we can identify. Okay. So, that is the main advantage of uh, writing this sequences at the bottom. Okay. So, we have completed both the cases of S2 also. Now, let us take the case of S3. So, we have already discussed the case when in S3 and we receive a 1. And what will happen uh, if we are in S3 and we receive a 0? So, in S3, what is the sequence you have? It is 0, 0 and 0, right? So, again, if a 0 is received means... It is a 0, 0, 0 and again a 0 means it is same as receiving 3 zeros because only these 3 zeros are relevant. Okay, so in S3 state, if a 0 is again received means it will loop to the S3 state itself and the output is 0. Okay, so both the cases of S3 is also completed, right? So how you have to think? You have to first consider what is the sequence at that state. Next, you have to think what is this input coming and you have to check whether it is relevant, whether the sequence is broke or whether it is it is jumping to some other states. Okay, so that you have to check. Now we have completed both the cases of S3. Now let us see what is the case of S4. So in S4, if a 0 is received, we have taken that it will jump to which state? S1 state. Now in S4, we already have what in our hand? 0, 0, 1 in our hand. Right. If again a 1 is received, can you see any 1s together in the sequence? No. So what will happen? The sequence is broke. Right. So in the S4 state, that is in S4 state, we have this 0, 0 and 1. And again a 1 is received means the entire sequence is broke because we don't have two 1s together in our sequences to get detected. So, from S4 state, if a 1 is received, it will jump to the initial state because the entire sequence is broke. Both the sequences are broke now. So, the uh, from, uh, from S4 state, it will jump to S0 state and your output is also 1. So, this is how you have to think. This is how you have to think while designing a sequence detector. See, uh, well, uh, you are designing a sequence detector, you will you'll be only given two sequences. You have to think that how many states you need, how the, uh, each of the states has to progress, how to draw arrows. Like that you have to detect, I mean you have to design. And also you have to find in all, in which all uh, states the output is coming as one. That is the output is generated. So, in order to make this task simpler, what you need to do is, you need to first start from the initial state. Okay, then just go on uh, drawing the states and first uh, you need to draw all the your wanted cases. That is, in for this case, you need a 0, 0, 0 and 1, right, to complete your second sequence. First draw all the positive cases. That is all the cases you need. Then complete the rest. So this is how you are designing a sequence detector. Actually, sequence detectors are just mind games. It is very simple to design. Okay, so uh, here we have seen 
a melee type of sequence detector. I hope all the states are completed. Yes, all the states are completed and I have marked all the input bar outputs and all the arrows and everything I have marked. Okay, so uh, this is very simple. If you have this, you can draw the truth table also. And uh, in this video, we have seen uh, two sequences with same length, right? And also these two sequences, if you examine, these are overlapping sequences. Overlapping sequences means a part of the sequence is same with that of the next sequence. Okay, so uh, likewise, you can design any sequence detector you want. It can be using either Mili FSM or More FSM. So we have already done a video on More FSM sequence detector. And this is a video on Mili FSM sequence detector, which is detecting two sequences at a time. And in the next video, what we will see is, we will try to design a sequence detector, which is detecting two, uh, two sequences with a different number of bits. That is, the number of bits of the sequences will be different. We will try to do that in the next video. Okay. So I really hope the video was useful for your preparation. And on the sequence detectors are very much uh, relevant for any of the exam. It can come in any exams. So you should be aware of this topic. So that's all for today's video. We are doing videos on ISRO scientist preparation and technical assistant preparation. And also for gate exams which are coming in February. And also we are doing videos on the core subjects of electronics, which are digital electronics, digital signal processing and network analysis. Okay. So if you have any comments, please do mention in the comment session. And uh, if you want any of the topics from uh, electronics, if you want to clear any doubts, please do mention that also in the comment session. And also subscribe to the channel for more electronic uh, videos and also exam preparation videos. Okay. Thank you.